have uh, Ms. Lee Touchton. Please come forward. State your name and address for the record, please. Chairman Slaughter, Commissioners Lee Touchton, 610 Mac Drive. I live in the city, and my daughter and my niece go to city schools, and it would be shocking for us to wake up one day and find out that we'd been taken over by the county. Uh, we love our city schools. I just had to say that. Okay, I'm here because um, I sent all of the commissioners um, some communications regarding my issues with Valdosta State University. I've been trying to get open records requests fulfilled by Valdosta State University. They've been sandbagging and obstructing me. Um, currently, they've charged me over $500 for open records requests that I can come to this body and usually get fulfilled for about 50. Um, and I want to thank the people behind the scenes that talked to the folks at VSU and apprised them of the law, which apparently they were not following correctly. But um, in my mission to try to make Valdosta State University uh, do the right thing regarding open records, my own commissioner sent an email basically supporting freedom of speech for Ben Carson to come to VSU. And I just want to say that we all are entitled to free speech. However, when a political candidate comes to a public university, there are different laws which apply. Um, they paid him the second half of his fee after they found out that he had taken steps to become a presidential candidate. So this is no longer a private citizen coming to VSU. They are paying him $43,000. My commissioner sent out his championship of free speech on his commissioner email, which is supported by my taxes via uh, uh, my elected representation here. And so I just want to make the comparison that as a private citizen, I have to come down here and physically talk to you in order to have the same impact that an elected official has when they take a position like that. He was thanked by the uh, dean of the VSU Business School. The dean did not have the courtesy to copy me, um, but I found it in an open records request. And I just want to say that you're entitled to um, whatever position you want to hold publicly, but I'm entitled to let you know how I feel about it. I am an older mother. I'm 54 years old. I had my daughter when I was 42, and I'm a very proud mother of a beautiful little girl, and I have a beautiful niece, and I'm not going to embarrass them by pointing to them. Um, but yesterday, Ben Carson said something that was so shocking and so obscene that I felt compelled to come here and to state my speech in opposition to it and to let my commissioners know about this. Yesterday, he defended the actions of a football player named Ray Rice, who um, beat his wife so badly that she was knocked unconscious, and then he dragged her body as if she were a carcass out of the elevator. This video is online. Anybody can see it that wishes to see it. Um, the NFL did the right thing, and they terminated his contract. Why he's not in prison for this, I don't know. But what Ben Carson did was he blamed the victim. Now, there is nothing that a woman does or does not do that uh, would excuse someone beating her into unconsciousness and then dragging her. And I want to make that clear. Um, VSU is bringing a man to speak on campus who has gone on record along with his employers at Fox and the, the people at Fox that he works for and works with made very ugly jokes about this situation and they said that the woman should have taken the stairs. So as a mother of a little girl, as the aunt of a little girl, as someone who cares about equality, especially for women, especially for girls, I think it's incumbent upon all of us to be careful when we choose someone to say he's entitled to his free speech and I support his right to come here. Um, you're my elected officials. A private citizen, I wouldn't have any problem with them saying something like that, but my elected officials, I definitely have a problem supporting somebody like this. And I would ask you that you examine your conscience and you look more carefully at what is going on at VSU because this is not your standard opportunity for somebody to come and speak out um, in the realm of the public square. This is somebody who is coming and is being given $43,000 
and it is a partisan political rally. There are numerous Republicans from Atlanta that are coming to this, and our taxes are supporting this. Thank you very much.